Hey guys, welcome to Your Place Inside and Out. This week we have tips, tricks, inspiration, and even some advice from our local professionals on how to get your place dialed in from inside to outside just in time for this gorgeous weather. Today we have a great show. With all the beautiful flowers in bloom, we're going to check out one of the best flower shows in the nation and get some awesome gardening inspiration to brighten up your place. But first, let's learn the things that you should consider when remodeling your kitchen, along with how you can add value and work within your existing budget. Your home is probably the largest and most important purchase you'll make in a lifetime. So obviously, keeping your home's value is important. Research shows the most effective way to gain value inside your home is to remodel or update your kitchen. Matter of fact, You'll sell your home faster and recoup almost 90% of your investment with a kitchen remodel. Enter Mark Morgan. With over 30 years of family experience building homes, we sat down to ask if a kitchen remodel really was the best way to spend money and invest in your home. It should definitely be at the top of your list. I mean, remodeling the kitchen is one place that it's going to help the time that it takes to sell your house and selling the house more quickly, as well as you're going to get a lot of that money that you put into it back and the selling price of your home and everything. There's not many other places in your house that you can get as much of the money back that you invest into the kitchen remodel. And when you're doing it, even if it's something that you're gonna sell down the road, it's something that you can enjoy during the time that you have left in the home. We've all heard how expensive kitchen remodels can be. So what makes up the cost of a remodel? And how can we keep that cost down? Moving the appliances around in the kitchen is going to definitely add cost because you're moving around your electrical and your plumbing. So anytime you move a kitchen sink, you move where the range or the refrigerator are located at, you're adding some fairly significant cost that you're really just not going to see right off the bat. Outside of that, with the tighter budget or a, sm a smaller budget, you could start off with you know, just painting the cabinets that you have or changing the hardware, possibly changing the doors on the cabinets, but keeping the actual cabinets themselves in place and just doing new doors and resurfacing. Uh, as you start to spend more, you can get into replacing cabinets or keeping the cabinets you have, but redoing the countertops and the backsplash. And then obviously if you get into a full gutting of it and starting over from scratch, new cabinets, new countertops, and then the appliances can go start out at a very basic appliance and can skyrocket when you start getting into some of the higher end stuff. Knowing the cabinets is a good and affordable place to start, let's get some cabinet tips from the expert. In cabinets I think about functionality and what you need, whether you need drawer spaces or whether you need uh, pull outs and all the upgrades and things that can add to them. We see lots of white cabinets right now and white kitchens and just very clean and crisp lines trending I feel like a little bit more away from the glazed cabinets but still people getting using some of those uh, artistic expressions on their islands. You can always add on the under cabinet lighting underneath the cabinets and another thing that you can add if you pick a cabinet in a certain area where it works well is adding a glass front, a decorative glass in that glass front with shells and in those cabinets you can add puck lighting and let you display some of your uh, more decorative pieces. Otherwise, it might be like an open shelf on the in, on an in, end of cabinet that would have, you know, kind of a spot for smaller knickknacks to be placed. So, aside from the colors and designs, what are some cool functional trends right now with kitchens? Not only to add value, but also to make your kitchen more enjoyable to work in. You see lots of folks interested in the pot filler, especially when their range is not near their kitchen sink and making the actual cooking very functional there. The other thing is trying to get rid of the appliances aren't, that aren't as attractive in the kitchen. And so your range can be something that's very wowing, but I have not yet found an attractive microwave. So a lot of times we try to get a hood insert and get a hood above the range and then find a place to nestle that, that microwave away in a base cabinet and go with an under, under uh, counter microwave that uh, gets it out of the line of sight.